Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'll be trying to use my uh, phone, uh, my cell phone to make the video because I actually forgot my SD cards. Um, sorry I've been away, uh, it's almost a month since I've made my last video and um, I actually do have the newest LBX already made uh, a couple of weeks ago and this is um, LBX Gunther from the newest series um, LBX Wars, Dumbo Sinky Wars. As you can see um, from my last review I said that the whole design is changed so um, all the figures, all the style, everything has been changed to a, a, a military kind of look. And of course a lot of people like it, some people will probably agree with me but anyway that's, that's um, everybody's own opinion. So this is the box, it's the same and the instruction manual is actually the same as well and um, of course the comic is set in the newer setting um, assembly wise it's actually all the same and pretty much that's it but let's get to the figure first because this is LBX Gunther and I have to say that after Dot Phaser um, I was actually quite impressed with this figure. Um, building him was actually really easy. Uh, he does actually remind me of a Deku, but um, he is. This is. I would say that this is based on like Russian military with all the skirt and all that over here. This the skirt part over here is really really solid, really awesome. So that's like one piece, two, three. Or oh, that's stuck here. So that's five. Uh, and the back one is stuck as well so this is actually really well done um, sticker wise the gold part that you see here are stickers but other than that everything else is just plastic so I am actually quite impressed with it um, he does come with two weapons one is the long blade and one is the dagger um, for the long blade it is see-through plastic but um, it's a bit of a mm, cloudy type of cloudy type of see-through plastic so personally I don't I don't like that but it's nothing to complain about to no, nothing much to complain about to be honest um, articulation wise he is pretty good it's just pretty much like season 2 it's just like it's just like W so if you actually like W then you will actually like you will actually like Gunther he is actually quite I, I do like the, the size of it um, his design wise is actually a lot better than Phaser. Uh, you guys know that I like Deku types so like little fat chubby ones are my cup of tea. And on the back here it is it is circular, it is um, ball jointed so you can actually move the wing and the little even this part here you can move around like that to whatever pose you like. And um, other than that, there's nothing much to talk about, to be honest. He is actually quite solid. I do like him. He is actually um, quite good. And I'm not too sure about the background for this character here, so forgive me if I can't go into, into detail for it. So this is LBX Gunther. Should you get it? And like I said, if you like the design, if you like the military design, they are really solid to get. They, they, are, they are not like... Um, they are not like season 1 LBXs which is like all fragile you can post them around like that oh, okay I just ate my word um, <laughs> oh no wow they actually just fell off but um yeah the arm I have to say this arm here the right arm has been giving me problems I have no idea but I would say that this is probably like a more of a factory defect yeah see it's giving me problem but the other one is actually not is actually a lot better see you can actually do that with him so it's probably my it's probably my problem um, the one that I got was a bit bugged but other than that I have no problems with him he is actually really solid so if you like wars then definitely get him he is pretty cool all right thanks for watching and this is probably just my short review oh yeah no dice still no battle dice so if you are really after the battle dice then pretty much that's it it's gone okay thanks for watching and i will see you guys soon take it easy